So what we're going to notice here is that this elephant has a, a strong brow bone right here and here. And then this area actually dips back in some. And, and the, the differences there in color are not too much other than you've got this highlight on either side here that kind of, kind of shows it up. So I've got a highlight. Oh, that just is, that's so awful. I just did that. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm taking some, taking some of our orange here and some of our blue. And I think I better go to the blue side of this. And you could always dump a little uh, indigo into this too. But what I want to do is... Which blue is that? That's ultramarine. Ultramarine. I want the ridge here to come forward. So we're going to work on this one because I think I need to do something there in private. That, that poor animal. <laughs> that poor animal is... Uh, uh, someone, someone's hit him with a baseball. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this area go considerably darker right here. Kind of like this. And you will notice, well, I don't know if you could tell yet. I don't know if it'll show up on the video. But as this sits still where I don't stir into it, the, it becomes more brownish mm -hmm. because the yellow, the orange floats up to the top. So know that when you look at your color and you're freaking out, well, that's not the color I want to use, you might just need to stir it a little bit. Okay, so I have this. Oh, and there is a place under here. Uh, here's the thing about Ken's. You don't have to do all this. The way Ken worked, he didn't have to show all of this detail shape to make it work. So now I need to soften the edges, but what I'm doing is I'm kind of giving it a minute to, uh, yeah, to kind of set in. And then I'm going to add, see, I'm just adding water to some of these outer edges. And some of it I might wait a little longer on. Here, uh, I'm going to wash my brush out, come back and you know, this needs to connect. This needs to connect up this way a little bit more. Let's give it a little bit of that. And then there's a place up here. So uh, th this guy at the workshop, uh, ZL, I don't know how he says it. It's not Zing, it's like Zung or something. Uh, uh, he had done a painting that, cause he paints people. And he does these beautiful landscapes with trees, and they're all gorgeous. Well, he had done a painting that had a horse in it. He was so proud of that horse. And it was pretty good. It wasn't up to the level of the other stuff he does. So what I'm trying to say is you have a face here that's not human, and it really takes a lot more concentration to make it work than because it's a different kind of face. And... uh that can be hard. I mean, it was hard for him. That's what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to pull this over. In fact, now that I look at it, I can pull over a little bit more in like that. Now, I still want a soft edge here, but I'm kind of giving it a little time so that it doesn't spread a lot. Just a little bit. Is that rain I hear? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Wow. And do a little something there. It's still, that's too light right there. Now I can see, looking at it, that was too light. So I'll put a little more color right in here. Okay, this is much better. We'll just pull this this way a little bit. Okay. Not, don't have to do it everywhere. So what this does, I don't like that. So I'm going to wash my brush out and pull up here a little bit. There. So as this gets darker here next to this light contrast, this begins to sink in. Even though it's lighter, it begins to sink in. It's really, 
it's really a, a seems a little weird, yeah. So you might want to even come back and do more on your eye with a pen. Uh, this needs a, because this is the lid right here. And right now it's kind of blending in, so I'm gonna need some darkness right there when this is dry. I can't do it right now. And I might even would do it with a pen. It might not be a bad idea. Uh, so I still have to do something, because here's where I just worked and I stopped and I worked and I stopped there on the video, the ones that y'all don't know about because I didn't ever send it out. So I'm going to send it out in a minute and that will do you a whole lot of good now. Uh, Okay, so I'm basically going to do the same thing. Uh, this is actually going to go to a little bit lighter here. But when you're working, don't get in a hurry. You can work little bits at a time. And like right here, I know this doesn't look right, but I know it has to dry and then I'll go back to it. So I have to just accept that. And one of the things that ZL said yesterday, I just call him ZL because we're on a tight. tight. Yeah, we're tight. We're tight now. So uh, he, he, I've forgotten what he said. <laughs> what, 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 he said something about eyes. Uh, no, it was it was that Wait. uh you, you you just work oh yeah that uh, that a lot of people a lot of beginners which and y'all y'all know this you've been through this before but a lot of people try to get to the finished product the finished look too soon yeah. do too much That's too early problem. this is about Patience, and the thing, thing is, it's really not about patience. So let me explain that. I've had a lot of very insulting people come up to me before and say, well, I just don't have the patience to do that. Okay, then well, don't. that's not patience. What it is is you, when you get involved in the work and the thing, watching the thing that the paint's doing, I guess this is what kind of what they mean when they talk about Zen. So when you get involved in that, and maybe you make a little... So you make a little dry brush through here. Or just, I don't, that's not dark enough to show up. Maybe just some lines. And you look at the paint move, and then maybe you think, I'll just drop a tiny bit of orange into that. And, oh, watch what that did right there. Oh, that's pretty. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then it doesn't require patience because you're in there with what you're doing. If, you're, if you have a task then this task has to be finished. You have taken the zen out of it and you have totally ruined the art thing and, yeah. the, and the fun of the pleasure. Because it's not just fun, there's, there's, there's great pleasure in, in watching these things develop and happen. And because you don't totally predict it, it doesn't totally act like you want it to. It gives you little surprises simply because that keeping track of, I mean, if you could measure every bit of water ratio to paint and paper moisture and, you know, you had artificial intelligence doing it for you, uh, well, it just ruined the whole deal. That's all, it just ruined the whole deal. So I'm putting some stuff up there, and as I was talking, I started getting rote and just doing mm -hmm. instead of mm -hmm. what I did right there, which was the Zen thing. So, when y'all watch me demonstrate, you're frequently, you're watching a demonstration, you're not watching the Zen thing. Uh, the other thing is, when you're adding water like this, sometimes that's a fun time to just do a little blot, as long as you're working for textures. You know, if you want the area to be smooth, then, then blotting is not such a grand thing. So, I'm beginning to get little, just things happening in here and I want to leave some light areas you know so it's just those little gentle things and little bits of color movement uh, here let's just drop in a oops I'm trying to pick up the tiniest bit something here there, a little more. 
Okay. I think you're so about the, to lose your flat. Huh? I think you're about to lose your flat. My flat? My flatness? Your that, flat forehead. My flat forehead. you did forehead. a beautiful job of building, I think you're about to oh, unbuild it. I, I, oh. I could be wrong. I, I, you could be. I'm hoping you are. Okay. So this area up here still looks like he's wearing a toupee. And part of the problem is that this is going all the way across like this. On here, you can see the highlight on the head and then bump mm -hmm. as it runs into a side. So I think we're going to put a side on and a few horizontal wrinkles. You know, once you have wrinkles, it no longer looks like hair, right? I mean, maybe. <laughs> we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out. We'll see. So. So in this eye, this 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 horrible indentation has to be totally reworked. I'm going to have to take the magical sponge to it. Yeah. So let's see right there. And on the photo, even this side of the head merges into the ear so much it's it's, it's almost hard to tell right up here where one ends and the other starts. And that would be a good thing to have happen. Or you can do and add a dark pen line and, and that'll look good too. Uh, I want to drop in. I think I'm liking this thing of using the blue gray and dropping the orange in. And, and sometimes you could just leave hard edges. Don't always soften every edge. Oh, that's one of the things that, Ken, let me see yours again. Okay. So one of the things that Ken did, let me see, where is it? I know it's on here. Oh, right in here, for instance, and there. Yeah, that's all hard edges, but it's not too dark. So the, the edges are, are, are not so strong that it breaks the figure up. But he's got some crisp edges in here, and they're great, you know. So, okay. Uh, yeah, I have to, just here. We're, we're going to pretend that's not there. Uh, so, and the other thing is sometimes you have to wait for some areas to dry. There is a line here that I am seeing kind of separates. Well, I don't have a dark enough paint. Let's just pick up some, a little bit of indigo. I'm trying to, I'm trying to get something that's strong here. And the other thing is you could come back and do this with a pen. Uh, I, I don't know how well a pen will work when the paper's wet. Probably not. Uh, so what I wanted to do was pull an area down here and then create a little area there. That's beginning now to make the eyelid. Uh, oh, but as I did that, this began to become part of that rather than part of this forehead. I've got to pull something out here a little bit. So, okay, so it's not a matter of your remembering what I did right there, which may not even be any good. What, what I want you to remember is the process, the attention I'm paying to it, the reason I'm paying attention to certain things. See, this needs... This is a shadow on the side of the head. And yet right now, because I've got a strong line in there and I've got this dark, it looks like the whole head dips in there. Mm -hmm. Well, the whole head doesn't dip in. This is the outside of the head right there, not here. So I'm going to have to, again, get... Do I just happen to have one out? No, I don't. Well, we'll just pretend. Uh, I'm going to have to take the sponge to this and weaken that area right there just to keep that head from looking misshapen there so it's a little bit tricky but if you do it with a lot of pin work that works and then you come in a little bit on the flat side with texture it will still make a good looking elephant so anyway i would say just go to your workstations and enjoy <laughs>